What's going on YouTube? So in this video today, I'm just going to talk about how you can make a traveler or how you work out what your traveler should be for a particular site. And um, and for the sake of this video, I'm just going to assume you know what a traveler is, but it's just it's just basically a tool used for earthworks. So it, it just helps you get the, um, or it, it's, it's used to shape the road up to, to the correct level. So um, as you can see here, it's, he, 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 it works with your profiles. We worked profiles out in, in a previous video. So profiles are usually just set one meter back from the finish road and the, the board on top is one meter above a finish road level. So if you've got no, we can use it for drainage as well, profiles and travelers. And uh, this looks more like it. So it's at, usually at regular intervals are your profiles and your traveler travels around with you and it cuts the road to right level, being at formation or dig level, whether there's capping in there or whether it's finished stone level. So this is a good example of what it looks like. So this profile board here will be set one meter above finished road level and one meter back from finished road level. So it's already started cutting it. And to cut it to dig level, you need a traveler to walk along and you just sight down it and check it. Yeah, so a bit like that. So I'll jump into it. So we start off in CAD. But first thing we need is, is road construction detail drawing. So I'll just open that up, road construction detail. Rotate the view. Okay, so we've got a couple of different road constructions on here. Uh, I'm just going to ignore road construction one. This is just a, a beefed up version of this. So you can see you can see the um, the construction here. So it's 25 surface course, 50 binder course, 70 base course, and 390 sub base or type one. And there's no capping on this one here. So I'm just going to make a traveler for this and I'm also going to make a traveler for the Muse construction or block paved road which is 60mm block paver on a 35 bed of sand and then on a 50mm thick binder course and then on 340 sub base or type 1. So to do this go into CAD, start a new drawing and um, with this, things always work from the curb. So firstly, draw the curb and then then put the, the layers in after it. So draw a curb, I just start with rectangle, pick anywhere. So we know curb size from the drawing. Curb is 125 by 255. So to do this, just type in rectangle D for dimensions, as you can see at the bottom, 125 length and 255 for width. So that's what your curve's going to look like, just, just pick the orientation, so I'm just going to pick it there. So that's your curb. Now I'm just going to draw the 25mm bed that's needed for the curb. So I'll just make sure I've got ortho on. Pick whatever snaps you want, so you only, you only need a few. So it's just 25 mil down, so I'm going to type in 25. It's going to come across, and it came across 125. And I'm just going to go up there and enter. And now it's time to draw a curb brace. The curb brace is 150. Oh, sorry, the curb brace is, is always 150 mil deep. So I'm just going to draw that on there. I'm going to draw a polyline. Bottom of the bed in. 150mm. I'm just going to take it out, it doesn't really matter how far I take it out, I'm just going to take it out 420. So it looks right. I'm just going to close it off there. Close it off there. It's a lot easier if you use ortho for this because it's all straight lines anyway. Okay, so that's your curb, your, your bedding, and uh, your curb brace. So I'm just going to annotate that while we're here. Multi-line text. I'm just going to draw it in now. So I'm just going to call this a curb. My point brackets one two five millimeter by two five five millimeter. That's a bit small. That writing. I'm just going to highlight it, make it a bit bigger. Make it 
15 now, I think. Turn off or off, just move it around to make it look make it look neat. I'm just gonna put some text in here, show that this is the bed. There we are. Okay, so now we're ready to start drawing the, the layers. So I'm just gonna go back to this drawing here. Okay, so it was so first thing to note is what kind of face is on the curb. So on this particular site, it's a hundred mil face, and the first layer was twenty five mil thick. So I go back to CAD. So there's two ways of doing it. You can either just click at the top here, and while you're in Ortho, just type in hundred mil to get you down, and draw a straight line across. And that's your first layer. Or you could always just start. So that's top of curb, and you could always just offset that, offset that down, 100 mil. And you can always check it's 100 mil just by typing in dist, top of curb to where we are, 100 mil. So that's your 100 mil face. I might put that in there actually, because it's a um, handy bit of information to know. 100 mil face. I'll drag it down a bit more. There we are. And the first layer is 25 mil, so you just offset this. Type in offset, or click this button up here for offset. I want to offset it 25 mil. Offset that. That's your first layer, your surface course. Second layer was 50 mil, 50 mil binder. Offset, 50 mil. Okay, so that's your surface, your binder. Now for your base. The base is 70 mil thick, so offset 70 mil. That's your base course. And now for the sub base was 390, 390 type one. So offset 390, and that's your layers in there. Now just to annotate these again. Annotate, multi-line text, turn snap off. First layer was 25, 25mm surface course. And it's gone back down to 2.5, make that 15 again. How about there? I'll just copy that down. Got copy. Take that down. How about one there? And I'll have that one there. Okay, so that's it drawn out. And um, from this, we can make us travel, but I usually just like to just put some dimensions on it just to help out. A good one to put on, I'm just going to make a new layer. Change the colour to say red. Make new current. Um, a handy thing to draw on is I just like to draw on where the bottom of the bottom of the curb brace is, because really the sub base layer is split up into two layers. I like to call this the first layer and the second layer because this layer gets put down first, then you put your curb brace on top, and then you you fill in again with the second layer. So even though it is one layer. You construct it in two layers. So I just like to put that on just to denote that. Let's make it dashed. Just make it dashed so you can see it a bit better. Then I just like to annotate a few things. Or I should say put some dimensions on a few things. So I made a I made a dimension style myself. I'll show you how to do it in another video if you want. But I just like to put a few dimensions on, so I like to put one from the finished road level down to this. I'm just gonna make sure we got snap to perpendicular on. So sn snaps to perpendicular there. So that's from the surface course to the bottom of the curb brace. And I want one from the finished road level 
to the top of the stone level, which is there. Move them out a bit. Okay, and I'm going to put set some from the binder level. So um, let's have a look here. I'll change. I'm just going to change the color to green. Okay. From binder level to top of stone. And from binder level to bottom of the curb base. Okay, so this is really helpful information to put on. So these these will be your dips. So let's say you set the road out, you pin it out and you set it to finish road level. And so you're coming along, you're checking it, making sure it's deep enough for a curb race. You know instantly what your dip is, it's it's three thirty. And if you set it to binder, you know it's three oh five. So I like to make um just make a new layout. So I'll just delete that layout off, for example. Okay. And make a new layout. Layout page setup manager. It's called layout two. Or layout one, modify. A4 size sheet paper. Want it portrait. Okay. Close. So I just like to stick this on a on a nice neat drawing. Multi-line text up here. Um road info dips. Now black, make it bold underline. That text can probably go a bit higher, I think. Definitely. So make that I think it tends too much. Let's make that six. See what that looks like. That's not too bad. Put it in the middle. Pull it down a bit. Okay, now just put a viewport in. Viewport. Okay. And as you can see, it's got all those dips on there. Nice, clear, easy thing to understand. So you can just give this to lads on site and they'll understand it. And uh, I just put in here is just a bit of multi line text. So you say change the colour back to black. Dip to um, bottom of race from finish road level will equal. 330, 330, dip to um, top of stone from finished road level, we call 145, 145, no so it's important for when, um, for when you actually come to shape up the road to have all these dips and you know them all, it saves you working them out every time. And then I'll just do the same. Sometimes we set it to binder. Dip to. I'll just copy it over. From binder was 305. 120. Might add a bit more information there. So, the first layer thickness will equal. I'll just better work that out actually. I might just add some more dimensions onto here. What color do I want this one? Let's make that blue. Annotate dimension.
Float low, first low thickness is 205. Okay, so this is all the information you need for actually when you're working on the road. So you've got all the dips, they're ready. You know your first layer thickness, so it's easy to take off and work out how much tonnage you're going to need. And the same for second layer thickness. Now just to work out the traveller. So I'll make the layout in a second. First thing I like to do is just copy this drawing over. Go home, copy. Select the base point somewhere. So I should just move it up here. Enter. So the traveller tells you the dig level and where to stop with your first layer of stone. So I'll just delete all the annotations off. But the traveller is sort of reverse, it's upside down. So the first thing I like to do is just rotate all of this. So go to rotate tab. Make that my base point. I'll turn off on. Okay, so I'll just move this over again. Move this up here out of the way. So I'm going to say my travel is one meter tall. So I'm just going to select a new color. I'm just going to make it green, for example. And I'm just going to draw out my travel. So my travel starts at the bottom. So this is my dig level. So I'm just going to draw this out here. I'm just going to call it 700 wide. I'm just going to make it 50 mil deep, just for example, 700 and close. That's going to be dig level. Okay, and then we need to put one on the first layer here. You don't need to do this in CAD, you can always work this out just using, just in your head or just using a calculator just manually. But I think it's nice just to make a nice, nice drawing so everyone's singing off the same same hymn shape kind of thing. 700, close. Okay, and I'll just put, let's put a dash line, and I'll just draw a line across there. I'll draw a line down from midpoint to here. Enter. And it's always one meter down. And because we set set the profiles up one metre, this travel is going to be one metre, then plus the road construction. So I'm just going to go one metre down here, 1,000. Okay, so that's what your travel is going to look like. So this is going to be... Um, And you might have more on here if you had a capping layer in, this would be even bigger. So I'm just going to add some dimensions to this. So say from the top of this all the way down. Add one in there. From this one all the way down. Make sure it snaps to perpendicular. And just as a double check can have one from say top of here to the top of there. That's two or five. Okay, so um, now I'm just gonna make another layout. It's gonna call this layout info sheet. Just gonna copy that one over. Move a copy. Create a copy. Move to end. Okay. I'm just going to pan out and pan over to where my travel is. So yeah, there we go. So 
So I'm just going to delete this information off. Let's delete that. Don't need it on here. Might make might make this view a bit bigger. Road info traveller. Okay, I'm just gonna make these a bit more clearer. So I'm gonna make them two black and three black. Properties. So colour black. Might make the text a bit bigger. Text height. Um, 25, see what that looks like. Um, 35. Okay. See what it looks like. Tidy this up. Okay, so that's your travel information. And you can always check this just mathematically. So the dig level is always one meter plus the road construction. And the road construction is, if I just open the calculator up here, so construction is 25 plus 50 plus 78 plus 390. So the, the full road construction is 535, and the traveler should be one meter 535. One meter 535. First layer. Should be 205. Let's go to this first layer 205. So this works out. So I just like to export these out to a PDF. Export just set to desktop somewhere. Let's call this road information. Road info save. Um, hang on, just before we export. I'll just delete this layer off. Delete this layout, sorry. Okay. And then you just got export, and I want to export all layouts. Now I'll call it road info. And save. And we'll see how it looks on a PDF. And you can just print this PDF off and um, just give it to anyone working on site, house inspector, whoever. And all the information is on here ready to go. So yeah, so that's come out nice. And for the traveller, yep. That's looking right. So that's the way I like to do it. That's just one example of a road. You, you, you could work on the Muse, the Muse court detail after this. So Muse court detail was just down here. But it's exactly the same process. Draw the curb out, work everything from the curb. And you can have something like that. Easy, all the information's there. I hope you like this video. In another one, I might go into more detail about profile bars and travellers. If you want, just, uh, just let me know. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.